welcome back to another video on my channel. Today's video is going to be my May favorite. I cannot believe we are already in the month of May. It's crazy. I just feel like April flew by, February uh, flew by. Like all these months keep flying by. But I have a list of things that I cannot wait to show, share with you guys. I have been trying out new skincare. Um, just a lot of new beauty favorites because I'm like a beauty girl. Not really. If you want to see what my May favorites are, then keep on watching. So let's just start off with skincare. Skincare first. Okay. So I have talked about this. It's the Laneige. Laneige. I really don't know how to say it. It's the Peach Lip Glowy Balm. And I actually have it on my lips right now. It just creates a really nice glowy look and like a glossy look. Not glowy. Glossy look. Um, and you really don't need to put anything else over it or under it or anything. I just simply put it on. It is sticky, so if you don't like the sticky feeling of lip balm, then I don't recommend it. But if you just, it smells amazing too. So it smells amazing. It looks glossy on your lips. If you like all of those, then um, you should buy this because it's amazing. Honestly, all um, skincare from Laneige is like the bomb. Last for um, skincare. I have the Ole Hendrickson Cold Plunge Pore Mask, and I did use this in one of my vlogs, which I'll link above if you want to go watch it. I talked about this. It's really pretty. It's like a blue color. It's just really, it brings out your pores. It's really, it just feels so fresh when you put it on your face, and then afterwards, your face just feels really nice and soft, which I like about this. And um, you just have to leave it on for 15 minutes and then just add cold water to rinse it off. And then you can follow with like the toner or the serum, which I do have the truth serum now. So I will typically apply this and then put the truth serum on over it. Um, and then they also recommend using this two or three times a week. I like to use different type of masks um, every week. So I use this one and then I use a, another one I got at like Marshall's. It's just like a quick and easy one. If I if I'm like running late or something and I feel like my face feels gross, I'll just apply it or something. So I really like this, and if you want to try it out, you can get this at your local Sephora. And I will link all of the products that I talk about down below for you guys. We're gonna go into hair care. Another thing I love is everything and anything hair. Any new thing that I see, I definitely want to try it out and uh, see if I like it. But I have heard a lot about the Away, all of their hair care products. So I decided to try out the three, three in one. It comes with this cute little like carry on case or just this like travel bag you can use. And I'll show you what's in it. So you open it up and the first thing is the Away Rose Hair and Body Oil. And I briefly talked about this in my last vlog. I put this on my hair and be careful because when I put it on, I put a lot on and you need to just put like a tiny little dab on your hair because it kind of can make it gre like look greasy in a way, but it's snug. It smells good, like it literally smells like a rose. Okay, kind of like... <gasps> that was not smart. And it comes out fast. Yeah. That smells good. I kind of want to put it in there. I really can't even see what I'm doing. Because I don't want to be funny. Okay, so there's that. There's that one. But I really wanted, I didn't really want any of these in here. I only wanted to try the wave spray because I've heard a lot about this. And in the summertime, I love when your hair just looks like, has those beachy waves in it. So I'm going to try this out. I haven't tried this one out yet, but I'll let you guys know. Um, but I do like the rose one so far. And then I also got the air dry foam. So it also can create waves in your hair after you wash it and blow dry it. You just put like a um, pump on. It's like a little travel case and it's really cute. Um, it wasn't that expensive, actually. I got it um, on Urban Outfitters for like $30. So not that bad because each of them are like, obviously they're, they're bigger uh, sizes, but they're like more money. I think they're like 25 each. Okay, next is I want to talk about the brand Slip. I think it's really important to invest in good quality and if it's expensive then that means it's better for you so I would rather pay the price than you know pay not as much and get not as good of a quality of a product so the slip silk scrunchie guys <laughs> let me tell you this compared to a normal scrunchie is like wow 
it is so good it is so silky like when you when I put this in my hair I just my hair is like thank you Maddie and thank you next thank you next scrunchie we don't want the cotton ones no more mm -mm. those ones just aren't good for your hair guys they're damaging yeah they might not create creases in your hair but when you like when you pull it out there's just like no benefits to it so this one just creates i sometimes will sleep with this in and my hair will wake up the next morning and there will be no creases in my hair and my hair just feels so much better like it, i can just tell a difference and i don't like the cottons anymore like once you go to cotton versus like actual silk scrunchie, there's a difference. So just trust me on it. And the cutest thing, they come in a set of three. And I got the pink cheetah one because, of course, it's cheetah and pink and totally me. So I needed to get that one. Okay, and then another, we're going to go back to silk again. Or silk, slip. I always want to say the brand silk, but it's slip. So this one is um, the slip pure silk pillows. And this was the one that was really expensive and I kept the case to it so this is what it is it comes with this and it's really cute um the packaging that was over this was absolutely adorable as well and it says on here so let me just like read you the difference between a normal pillowcase like a normal cotton one and a silk pillowcase so it provides shine thickness softness and durability we use the highest grade 6a I don't know what it is long fiber mulberry silk with a thickness of 22 mome and enforce the stri strictest quality guidelines including non-toxic dyes so it helps with anti-sleep crease which i have noticed sometimes when i'm sleeping and i wake up i'll get like this crease like like right around here it's just because of like the pillowcase as well and like how i'm sleeping anti bed head you know so it helps with your hair and you're not you know when you're sleeping you're yanking your hair back or you're tossing and turning and that can cause you know stress on your hair and it can pull on your hair so the silk could just make sure that it's literally like sleek like you're you know when you're tossing and turning nothing's pulling it's just, just, just trust me on it guys go get one and anti-aging obviously because your skin is sleeping on the pillowcase too it's laying on the pillowcase you know bacteria gets on your pillowcase that's another thing I want to talk about so I like to wash my pillowcases and my sheets at least once a week and with the silk pillowcase it's you have to be very careful because the fibers they can break and then you know it's like I don't know why I paid all that money if I'm just not going to take care of it so you have to take really good care of your pillowcases and before I would just toss it in the in the washer and you know let it air dry whatever but now like I have to hand wash it so that's not that bad you can just use like I don't I forget what the um, the name of the detergent I use but it's like very, oh I think oh it's wool light I use wool light for it and let me just show you I actually need to wash it but this is what it is and it says slip right here and then it also has a zipper and I know there's different types of pillowcases you can get you can get ones with slip uh, with zippers and I forget the other kind but yeah I got white because white goes with everything and they have different colors as well so the next thing I want to get is a sleep mask because I've heard a lot of good things about it, and yeah, I want to try it out. But I'm not going to lie, it was really expensive, so I know if you don't want to invest in it, but I would honestly recommend investing in it. Okay, so now we got that out of the way. Another hair product is this Bedhead Wand. It looks like this, and I actually saw the YouTuber Aspen Ovard use this and her hair was so cute like she had the cutest waves i've tried it out i think i have a picture and i can like show it like right here um but yeah i loved her hair like when she used this so i will link it down below but it's just this pretty yellow color i don't know the size of the barrel actually but i know that it's really cute and it just has an on and off switch and it works really good on your hair so if you want those really pretty beachy waves this summer then get this next thing guys is i guess are these earrings they say my name on them um they say madison on them I found these earrings on etsy and the the owner name is caitlin minimalistic it's really cute it comes in this little box and it says happiness looks beautiful on you and then you flip it over and she has some like note cards on it so just to like take care of them she gives like a tips for that um and she she just like writes them on here it's really cute 
and really nice so I'm just gonna keep this box and she also they came in like a little like, zip lock these were in it so every time I'm done wearing these I put them back in there just to keep them nice so I can take good care of them so the next thing that I want to talk about are drum roll please are these Nike Air Force ones guys I put a poll on my Instagram. If you want to follow my Instagram, because you obviously should, it'll be down below. You guys should follow me on it. It's just at Maddie Hallman. But I put it a poll on either whether I should get the Nike Air Force Ones or the Vans, but the low top ones. So just like the ones that don't go high. I had the high top ones. I sold those because I don't like those anymore. <laughs> and I decided to get myself some. So I'm so excited. These are adorable. They are just the plain classic white size nine. I read and they said that Nikes are true to size and they, they are true to size. They fit me amazing. These are my last, like I'm definitely going to be wearing these in the summertime because they're adorable and they can go with everything. They make things look edgy and cute. Like you could wear these like with a really pretty lace dress or just any summery dresses. Like you could definitely, you know, edge, edge, edge these babies up. So I'm excited about these. That made no sense. Edge these babies up. What? I'm really hyper edge my um, outfits up with those so the next couple things I want to talk about are just like miscellaneous and fun so if you want to know okay so something that I've been obsessed with food wise is the strawberry poppy seed salad from Panera Bread guys this salad is so good it has strawberries in it it has I think um, cashews in it I'm pretty sure and like the poppy seed dressing is like to die for and I get it with chicken like that's the best way to go so if you haven't tried it you definitely should because it's literally bomb it tastes delicious like on my lunch breaks we I have Panera like right by me and I literally go there like every day it's bad but that and then another like drink slash uh, food is lavender chai from Nordstrom and I also talked about this in my Instagram story. It tastes so good I've been obsessed with like lavender things lately. They I mean I've always loved lavender, but they do have um I don't know if you guys heard of baby, but they have like a honey lavender latte and it tastes so good I get it iced and I also like lavender chai So if you like chai then you'll you really like this from Nordstrom because it the lavender is very like it's just a little hint of it. It's not overpowering. So that's another good thing about it too. And it smells really good. And then the last thing, I felt like that went really fast. I guess I really didn't have that much to share, but yeah. I don't know. I always like showing you guys new things. So I hope you guys liked it too. But the last thing to talk about is a podcast. And the podcast is the poorly planned podcast. There's three people that talk on the podcast it is alex Santomo, and she's a youtuber as well and i love her instagram i've been following her for a long time so it's her and her husband dan and then i'm pretty sure it's dan's brother his younger brother and i really like their podcast they talk very intellectual they talk about a lot of important topics i feel not important but just a lot of kind of like controversial topics but it they talk about it like really well and I really like their viewpoints. It's like they're very three different type of types of people and each of them bring a lot of like, it's just really entertaining to listen to and I enjoy it. So if you guys like podcasts and you should definitely listen to theirs because I, I love podcasts. I love when people talk about new podcasts that they like to listen to. So yeah, try it out, listen to it. <laughs> so I think I'm just gonna end the video off here because I don't have anything else to talk about and I think everything I said was we're good. We're done. We're done here. Peace. Just kidding. If you guys like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, like, and subscribe. And as always, I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye.